everybody. Everybody? Everybody. Everyone. Everyone? Everybody. Hello! <laughs> um, quick trigger warnings for the game I'm playing today. I'm playing Ace Attorney today. No art today. Usually I do art on Wednesdays, but I decided to switch it up this week because I just, I've been doing a lot of art, um, both in my free time and, like, on here, and I just, I just want to play games for a little bit. You know, I'm very, um, I'm kind of overworked at the moment. But anyway, um, these are some trigger warnings. Definitely a long list. Uh, DoesTheDogDie.com is very helpful for my little list. Um, Ace Attorney got a lot of stuff. Hello, Source Hill. Hello, hello. Welcome. Welcome in. Oh, I'm sorry. The chat is in the, is in the depths of my trigger warnings. Um, I'll move it up. Maybe that'll help a little bit. Um, anyway, uh... I had to, um, just a second ago, had to block and report another one of those hate raid bots. Um, they followed me, like, as soon as I went live. So, um, I'm really, I'm, like, scared that a hate raid is gonna come, um, since they're so rampant right now. And, I, I don't know. It just sucks that, I, that, that this is the thing that we have to deal with as, uh, as streamers. But, people suck! Um, anyway, uh, trigger warnings. What was, oh, I was going to say something. Um, oh my God. Okay. I had a, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to turn them off now. I think that's, well, I'll let them stay up for just a little bit longer. I have a crazy story. Okay. Minda's coming. Minda can stay here for the story. Come here, baby. Oh, okay. So I have a really weird, weird story about what happened yesterday at work. Um, so I got to come home and kind of halfway sort of work from home for like an hour um because somebody drove past my work and hit a um and hit the power lines that were next to it and like ripped them out and it shut our entire our entire building down like the entire the whole thing just boom dead just gone just just hit no, no way, no way around it. We didn't have a power. We couldn't do anything. We didn't have a, we didn't have really internet. It was, it was a mess. So, um, they let us like try and send emails and stuff from like our phones. And like, we had some of my coworkers like tried, had to set up like hotspots, personal hotspots. And that was our like internet connection. We shared their personal hotspots so we could send emails to all of our customers to say, hey, your stuff's not getting done today at all because we basically died. Um, <laughs> so uh, yeah, I'm gonna turn these off now. It was, um, it was a very weird experience. So in the middle of the day, we just couldn't work. Um, so they sent us to work from home, sort of. Got to send a few orders back from from my nice setup here instead of at my desk from my office. So basically, me and my coworker are gonna try really, really, really hard to get working from home privileges. Yes, absolutely. I don't want. I don't. Nobody wants hate, but like God, no, definitely not. The ban hammer is ready for anybody that comes by that's trying to fuck up our vibe. None of that. Immaculate vibes only. <laughs> Immaculate vibes only. Phenomenal vibes only. Positive, phenomenal vibes only. Um, but yeah, me and my coworker are going to try to get work from home privileges. Because if I can work from home, that means I could probably move my stream schedule up a little bit. And I could stream for longer because I wouldn't have to commute. And I wouldn't have, I would have more time to like make meals and things. So I can like, you know, sustain human life. Me. Uh, cause unfortunately that is a thing that has to be worked at. It doesn't just magically happen sometimes. Um, I cannot subsist off of air particles and I can't photosynthesize, you know? I can't photosynthesize, if only. That would save a lot of time and money if I could. <laughs> but I digress. Um, y'all aren't here to listen to me talk about, like, philosophize about human photosynthesis. Um, you're here to watch me play Ace Attorney Investigations 2. So that's what I'm gonna do, and uh, I'm excited because I love I love these games so much. So let's turn that sound on. Let's get our booties on over to the game. There it goes. Hey, 
it's okay. I'm sorry that I haven't answered the email yet. I promise I read it. I just haven't like written the written the response. It's I am like not neurotypical, so I hope it that's not an excuse, but I hope it explains why I have to like sit down and do it and like I said I've been work has been crazy as it always is. Um I promise I will I will answer. And it's not even that long. I know you were like, it's so, it's like a novel. It's not. It's really not. It's perfect. It's perfect. Um, okay. So, when we last left our, our intrepid heroes here, um, somebody had been murdered. That's what happened. That's really all that happened. Uh, Kay lost her memory because she was almost murdered. She fell off a building. And then in that same building while we were there trying to jog her memory, somebody got super murdered. So, April 5th, 2.36 p.m. Grand Tower PIC meeting room. This room is... What this room happened to be... Yes, sir! It's the Prosecutorial Investigation Committee's meeting room! What? It's here! I had heard they recently moved out of the Prosecutor's Building. But to think that they moved here of all places. How ironic! Since I'm supposed to be there for, uh, I think my investigation's supposed to be there soon. Who's Karen? Corinne? I'm gonna pronounce it Corinne because it's Corinne Jensen. Because I don't want to call her a Karen. I like how her hat says safety first and it's like not even, it's not even even. Look at that. It's like off to the side. From Die Young Hospital. Enjoys giving injections. Oh yes, Injection Girl! Injection Girl! I, I gotta give her, her little, what was it? It was like really high pitched. Um, Mr. Edgeworth, K. Whoops, I'm in, on my evidence page. What brings you here? How are you holding up? I cannot wait to do this woman's voice for the doctor. Oh my god, look at her. She is she is wise and aged. She is learned. She is she's got she's got some knowledge in that brain. I, I she's got so much knowledge in her brain she had to Put it up in her bun. Just wait for it. I can't wait. I'm so excited. We're in the middle of an investigation right now. Sorry, but who might this be? Ah, this is my granny. Um, let me just... Oh. Oh. Damn it, she didn't even have a voice! Oh, I was so excited to do like a, an old lady voice and she uses her, her granddaughter to speak. Damn it. Hi there, Sunny. The name's Bonnie Young. Who the heck are you? She says. What was that? It was like a boop 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 remix. It is a pleasure to meet you. My name is Miles Edgeworth. I'm a prosecutor. Miss Jensen, isn't Young the name of... Ahem. Granny is the director of the Dai Young Hospital. This old lady is the director? How are you calling old? She says. She can read my thoughts? Oh, so that granny is pretty important, huh? <laughs> I wouldn't go that far. I mean, yes, she is. Ah, uh, these people are the patient's guardians. You know, the one with amnesia. Hmm, it seems she is a bit of an introvert. She's Professor Xavier! <laughs> Want me to cure that bad case of the frownies for you? She says. Why is why do all the old ladies like to hit on Edgeworth? <laughs> I'm afraid that's an incurable disease for Mr. Edgeworth, pal. Uh, really, Granny? You want me to say that? I ain't got nothing to say to you, whippersnappers. You're free to do whatever you want. But you better not get in the way of my autopsy. Please wait. We're... No means no. Hey, you don't have the right to decide that, pal. What the fuck? 
Did she just smack her granny? <laughs> Sorry. Granny is the coroner, you see. And she is in charge of this case. So, uh, uh, Did she just hit her daughter? Not daughter, granddaughter. So I'm very sorry, but that's the way it is. What do you mean, that's the way it is, pal? Well, even if you ask me, I'm not the one who said it. Wow, they just hit each other. <laughs> I kind of feel like I'm watching a comedy act, sir. Well, we need to get back to the autopsy, so please excuse us and take care. They're just gonna perform an autopsy right here on the desk with like no sterilization or like materials and like equipment. They're just gonna right out in the open, just just perform an autopsy. What was with her attitude? We received permission to investigate. There shouldn't be any problems. That attitude of hurt is a huge problem, sir. Mr. Edgeworth, what do we do now? We'll investigate the scene, of course. As a prosecutor, I cannot stand by and do nothing. Well then, let's begin. Oh, that's not as fun when she doesn't have little thief, though. But the policeman said the person, the dead person is also named Kay. Then, I'm pretty sure I'm not the Kay you know, Mr. Edgeworth. We shall investigate that now, but don't worry. There's no question that you are the Kay I know. Okay. An amnesiac K and a corpse K. Both are connected to the Grand Tower. I'm certain that this case will lead me to K's lost memories. Cool. All right, let's, uh, it's quite the room. Oh, wow. Oh, good God. That is a, right at the foot of Lady Justice. This is Lady Justice. You sure do know a lot, sir. So what kind of powers does she have? She is a symbol of justice, not a superhero. It's said the scales represent justice, the sword, power, and the blindfold, equality. I won't, oh wait, that's, I do this every time. I, I know that he says this every single time. It's like just pointing something out that needs to be investigated, but I still read it as if he's saying it. I'm dumb. Okay, well, I don't know. Something tells me that this giant blood stain might be suspicious. Don't know. Might check it out. A pool of blood lies at the feet of the goddess statue. Judging from the pool of blood, it seems that this was where the victim was killed. But sir, the body is over there. Well, they probably moved it so they could they could like After murdering the victim, did the killer move the body? No, I think the medical professionals did. This is a really huge statue. Why is it in a place like this? She is known as the goddess of justice. You might call it a statue for judging prosecutors. It seems the statue was also made by Pierre Hoquet. Oh, you mean the victim of the I-7 incident, Isaac Dover. Setting aside his background and personality, he really was a brilliant sculptor. Talk about separating the art from the artist. Well, they do say that artists are either geniuses or weirdos. Accurate. <laughs> I suppose Larry would fall into the latter category. Rude? True. But rude! I'm probably in the in the weirdo category myself. Uh, what about this knife? Is that still the statue? Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, we already went through that. Is that, uh... I mean... There's nothing else, right? I'm just gonna, right here, just this little spot. Oh! No, that's still, no, we still talked about that. Okay, I guess there's just two, two clues to find here. The statue and the blood. Cool, well we can just move right along then. Um... Oh, what's this? Can I go back back here? Can I look at the window? Oh, look. These books all seem really thick and heavy, sir. The PIC did just move in here. Moving all these books must have been a lot of work. Moving he heavy objects is my specialty, sir. If they had just called me, I would have helped. 
Then perhaps I should ask the chairman if there is anything else left for you to move. Whoa! That, that was just a joke, sir! If I had to carry something up 50 stories, I wouldn't be able to do any more work today! Of course, I was joking too. But were you really going to carry things up the stairs? Yeah, isn't there like an elevator in here? I feel like that would be, uh, be much easier to... Could you imagine having to move these chairs? Like, if, wait, are they all connected? If this was like one piece... There's no way in hell they would get that up the stairs. What's this podium here? If things had gone as planned, I would have been standing here right about now. Yeah, sir. I'm glad the PIC meeting was delayed, but the cause of the delay was due to a murder. It's troubling to think that the PIC meeting could condemn my career as a prosecutor. In any case, my top priority right now is to find the truth behind this case. Uh, let's talk to the medical examiner, I guess. It's half of a large round table with 11 chairs. It seems to be based off of a certain legend. <laughs> I know that one, sir. It's the famous Knights of the Brown Table. With the Knights of the Brown Table. <laughs> huh? Was I wrong? Knights of the Clown Table? The... Wow, wow, wow. I like predicted the reference they were about to make. <laughs> knights who say, me. <laughs> we are the knights who say, me. He's getting colder, but I won't say anything. <laughs> oh, good night. Can you pick a spot, please? I'm in the middle of something. Yes, can I help with something? Uh, nope. I won't bother you, Miss K. She's gonna jump on the shelf. She's gonna do it. I just, just wait for it. Here she goes. She's gonna be a menace. She's gonna, she's gonna be a menace, and she's gonna, you know, make a lot of noise and make, make a, make a ruckus, make mischief, aren't you, Mid? Here she goes. Just prepare yourselves for a shaky microphone and a shaky camera. Just wait for it. That little brat just jumped down instead of up. She knew. She's taunting me. She's such a brat. Anyway, Mr. Officer, what do you have to say for yourself? You there, tell me the situation about the security of this room. Yes, sir. To enter this room, a special key card is required. I see. In other words, not just anyone can enter this room. I got a logic point. So, the person who found the body was also... Yes, it was a member of the PIC who had come here for today's hearing. A member of the PIC. If not for this case right now, I would be... Oh dear. Here, is it her? Is it her? I don't know who's saying this, excuse me. I'm assuming it's... <gasps> Holy shit, dude! Oh my god! Girly girl! Oh my god! Yes, queen! You are... Oh, yes, what is it? That voice. It's Von Carvo, right? Um, do you know her, Granny? Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Oh god. Oh god. I gotta do another German accent. Fuck. Okay. Oh god. What was my calibration? Why is the voice like Vine? Why is the voice like Vine? Okay. Good to see you again, Doctor. And you as well, Miles Edgeworth. Anyway, look at her! Look how proud she is! What is she doing here? Francisca von Karma. She is a prosecutor working with Interpol and the daughter of Manfred von Karma. She should be jetting around the world right now. Wherever there is a kiss, I will follow. National borders mean nothing before me. Your presence here must mean that this case has international significance. You know well enough that I'm chasing a smuggling ring. 
I shall recover all the stolen goods and crush that organization. Then, does that mean the smuggling ring is also involved in this particular case? Any further information is confidential. I'm not obligated to speak of it, Monsieur. So it won't be that easy. Um, Miss Francisca von Karma, Grady says... The autopsy is complete. You're free to do what you want. In that case, we would like to investigate that as well. I've heard rumors about you. No way am I letting you near that body. You're that prosecutor who's about to get the boot. You best run on home now, Sonny. Er, uh, um, just so you know, I wasn't the one who said that, okay? Please, Granny. We need to investigate, no matter what. Hey, Lassie, who you calling Granny? Eek! I'm sorry. We're not getting anywhere. I guess I have no other choice. Francisca, please allow us to aid you in your investigation. We must examine that body in order to find out what happened to Kay. To Kay Faraday. I'm asking you too, sir. Kay's in really bad shape. I don't know what's going on. But fine, I'll grant you permission. You have my thanks. Of course. I didn't say it would come without a price. You will explain everything to me later. We really owe you one, sir. I wasn't talking to you, Scruffy. I'm getting better at this German accent thing. It's not perfect, but it's better than whatever the fuck I was trying to do earlier. Youch! So that's how it is. If you would be so kind as to authorize them to, Doctor. <laughs> I suppose it's fine if he's here, <clears throat> if he's with... Oh my gosh, ran out of breath. <laughs> if he's with a prosecutor from Interpol, is what she says. And I fully agree with Grin. By the Von Karma name, the entire world will be judged. That's just common knowledge. It's rather conceited for common knowledge. Is she a prosecutor or a hitman? Dude, do you not know who Francisca Von Karma is? She's iconic. She's iconic, her whip. She she carries a whip and she she likes to use it. She's interesting. <laughs> well, it's not of my beeswax anymore. Is what she says. Um, I hope you don't get in trouble for this. You need it, Furry. My reputation will not be shaken by something so petty. Unlike me, who is on the verge of losing his badge. Woo! Let's do it! Let's investigate the body. Let's investigate the body. Yeah, ah, uh, yeah. Mm. Let's investigate, uh, mm. yeah. Investigate, yeah. Mm. Yeah, investigate, yeah. What? What? Investigate. Okay, I'm sorry. What's <laughs> kind of vibe in there? Oh! I l that looks very similar to Mia Fey. Am I wrong? That looks very similar to this body. It's not Kay, sir. It doesn't look like her at all. Of course it isn't. Kay is alive after all. Her age is, I guess, around 30. And she's wearing a pantsuit. Maybe she worked in one of the... Oh, sorry, that's Gumshoe. Maybe she worked in one of the offices in this building. So, her identity is still unknown. The question now becomes, why did the police believe her name was Kay? I won't rest until I've inspected every suspicious looking nook and cranny. Okay, Madame, there is some blood on her head. Maybe, maybe she was hit with something. We don't know that for sure. Our investigation will ultimately clear that up. There is a burn mark on her hand. Is it connected to the cause of death? No, it appears to be an old scar. She probably got it a long time ago. Hmm, it seems there is something in her hand. Detective, could you open her hand for me? Yes, sir! Understood! Because rigor mortis has definitely taken effect. This is... Oh, I know! This must be a gift card from a department store! 
Yeah! It seems to be a key card. Ugh, why? <laughs> the question is, what was this key card for? Probably to get in the room. There's some gloves. The left side of her white jacket has been stained a deep red. This jacket, the buttons are on the right side. Isn't that a man's jacket then? Yeah, if the buttons are on the right side, that's a man's jacket. Wait. Yes. Yes. Yes, men's clothes, buttons on the right. And it latches to the left because the buttons are on the right. And then a woman's jacket, or er, is, well, shirt, blouse, whatever, is the other way. The buttons are on the left. Fun fashion facts for y'all, if you didn't already know that, which you probably did. It's pretty common knowledge. Um, anyway. Isn't that normal, sir? All of my clothes have the buttons on the right side. For women, it is normal to have them on the left side. Mr. Edward, you really do know everything. That's just common knowledge. Hmm. There doesn't seem to be anything out of place. Hmm. There's something white in her pocket. They're gloves! Pure white ones! One for each hand, sir! They don't seem to be dirty. Could they be the victims? The left side of her- oh, no. What about- what about her hand? I was pointing at her hand, my dude. The hand. What's this? <laughs> this notebook! Huh? Isn't that Kay's promise notebook? <gasps> oh, look at her! I forgot what she looked like when she was a kid! What a cutie pie! This is the notebook she wrote all her promises to her father in! It really takes me back, sir. Yes. Kay's promises to daddy. Promise one, never take things from a stranger. Promise two, never go any uh, go anywhere with a stranger. When Kay was young, she and her father wrote the promises they made in this notebook. Promise three, always greet people with a smile, even people you don't know. Promise four, never cry in front of strangers. Promise five, always try your hardest to learn about things you don't understand. However, why is it in a place like this? Ah, now that you mention it, I once heard something from Detective Bad a long time ago. It seems that before anyone had noticed, Kay's memento had gone missing. What? Wait, wait, uh, did... Oh my god, wait. It's been a while since I've played the first Investigations game, but I think this is actually like a plot point, but... Huh. Oh boy. What? So a piece of evidence that was in police custody went missing? This is totally an aside. I want chocolate so freaking bad right now. Like, really bad. And I'm like about to order like a milkshake or something and it's bad because I don't have like any money. <laughs> I'm like, I get paid tomorrow, but it's like, I want, I want sweets. So bad. So bad. I will, I will figure that out. Anyway, totally an aside, just had to mention it. Chocolate, ah, okay. Detective Bad frantically searched all over for, oh, this is Gumshoe. <laughs> Detective Bad frantically searched all over for it, but it seems he never found it. What could this mean? Why was the missing notebook found here? You there, do you happen to know anything about this notebook? The victim was carrying this notebook when we found her. That was the only evidence we had to identify the body. So that's why you called her Kay. What a misleading victim, huh? Why did she have Kay's notebook? I sure would like to have some information on the victim's identity, though. Why, sh why is there a candelabra here? Could this be the murder weapon, sir? A three-pronged candelabra. It's consistent with the number of stab wounds. Damn. She was probably stabbed by the prongs of the candelabra. Sorry, 
I just had a thought. I was like, maybe that's why there's the candlestick as the weapon and clue. But that's not that's not the same thing as a candelabra. Although, I, wouldn't a candlestick just be like one? And then it would still have a prong to put the wax candle on, right? Or am I crazy? Because, like, at first, I always thought that the candlestick as a weapon in Clue was, like, a blunt force trauma kind of deal. Like, you just whack them. But if it has a prong like a candelabra, it could be used in a stabbing motion, too. My brain's all over the place today. Anywho. A candy zebra. Oh, my God. I want candy. I want candy so bad. <laughs> I'm glad we're not playing the case again with like the, the chocolate and the sherbet and the, cause that, oh God. Anyway, I want candy so bad. <laughs> I'm afraid it's not quite what you're imagining, detective. A candelabra is a candlestick holder with multiple arms. Okay, see, yeah. Cause so if a candlestick has a prong on it as well, I feel like the, cl the clue weapon would actually not be a blunt force trauma. It would also be a stab. This is a weird, I don't know why I'm concerned with that, but whatever. Ah, so it's a candle holder. You know, one time I forgot to pay my electric bill, and I had to oh, get, bleh, and I had to get by. Oh my God, I can't breathe. <laughs> and I had to get by only with candles. What time period are you from, dude? You're the man in charge of his salary. If you want to complain about how he can't pay his power bill, why don't you raise his salary? You can't judge the poor guy. Um. What is this pink thing? Something seems to be pinned to her jacket. Hmm. It's made out of purple cloth. It looks like it's been forcibly torn off, doesn't it? Uh, oh, I can deduce something. <gasps> the flower! Aha! Aha! I can deduce that it... It is! It is! It's connected to the purple flower! Boom! Eureka! Eureka! The purple flower Kay had with her. I wonder if that originally belonged to the victim. Now that you mention it, oh sorry. <clears throat> now that you mention it, the cloth does look the same as the one on the pin. Yes, let's compare them without delay. It's a perfect match, sir. Way to go, Mr. Edgeworth. Cool, 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 cool. We got a clow. The fact that this flower belongs to the victim means. That can only mean that Kay Faraday came in contact with the victim. And about that corsage, it looks like it was forcefully ripped off. So there's a possibility that Kay Faraday is connected to this case. And depending on the situation, we may have to consider her as a suspect. What did you say? There's no way she did it! It's unthinkable! Kay could never do that, sir! However, it's true we have no evidence to deny that claim. Oh, poor Kay. Look at her. She's so pitiful. It's nothing more than a possibility at the moment. Isn't that right, Miles Edgeworth? Indeed. For better or for worse. Boots? I want to know what is in her hand. Is she wearing an earring? Can I... Nope. This? Is there like a... How old is Francisca? Oh, she's only 19 in here. Damn. All right, well, I guess I'll logic something. Um, I can connect security and the key card. Boom. Those are the only two ones I have, so of course they connect. Perhaps the key card the victim was holding is for the this room. I'll go find out, sir. Mr. Edgeworth! From this room's security system, we were able to retrieve the data of the victim's card. So that means the victim was able to freely enter this room. If the card actually belonged to the victim, of course. Yes, of course. Well, now what? I guess we can talk to the medical examiner. Talk. Sonny's want something, is what she says. Uh, yes. Miss Jensen, could you tell me about your relationship with Dr. Young? Yes, 
Ever since I was little, I've always been together with Granny. Whenever I got lost, she would search for me until it got dark. And whenever I fell down, she would watch over me until I could get up on my own. What a charming story. She sounds like quite the grandmother's child. And after I became a nurse, whenever I'm about to make a mistake with my injections... Not there! There! She'd say, as she'd grab the needle and... Ouch! Ouch! Just hearing it hurts, pal. Please keep those stories to yourself. Anyways, as long as I have Granny by my side, there's no nursing I can't do. I... I see. I fully understand. Thank you for your cooperation. Regardless of her charming story, they do seem to share a very close-knit bond. Dr. Young, you sure are a masterful coroner, pal. You work with such blinding speed, and you make no wasted movements. What are you studying for about autopsies? You don't know the first thing about my work. Uh, allow me to apologize for his rudeness. I'll be sure to reprimand him later. What? <laughs> his rudeness? What? Listen up, young'un. It is my duty to perform the autopsy quickly and accurately. That's why I have no patience with those who get in the way of my work. Is what she says. Are you satisfied? Yes, very much so. We only wish to investigate. We have no desire to get in your way. It looks like Dr. Young's stubbornness comes from her devotion to her work. The Dai Young Hospital is a splendid hospital, and Granny is in charge of it. Well, how about it? Would you like to be admitted and experience it for yourself? That's right. Right now, there's an opening in our hospital suite with the outdoor spa. We are in good health. There is obviously no need for us to be hospitalized. That's right! We're perfectly healthy, pal! That's our sole redeeming feature! Just what does he mean by that? Well, you see, the Tai Young Hospital also accepts healthy patients. We're currently in the middle of our full of life, healthy hospital stays campaign. Those without injury or illness can stay at our hospital for half the price. So it's a medical hotel? What is happening? Why would you need to stay at a hospital if you're healthy? This is the chance of a lifetime. So what do you say? Hospital stay! Hospital stay! Hmm, you know, an outdoor spa at half price does sound like a good deal. Don't fall for it! <laughs> uh, can I present... The... You know what? I'm gonna investigate on my own first. I want to look at this candelabra. I'm gonna check it. I'm gonna check it. Um, I wanna know what's on the bottom because I feel like something... Nope, just kidding. This is a rare shape for a pedestal. The spot where it was put on it still has its mark. And it will become apparent whether or not it had been placed there. Okay. Um, what else? Can I look at the candles? Oh, God. <clears throat> the prongs of the candelabra are covered in blood, and the shape even matches up with the victim's wounds. Is this the murder weapon of this case? I mean, I can't really imagine it as anything else. But then again, it could have been stabbed post-mortem because Ace Attorney is, like, infamous for doing that. Um... Oh, it's just a bat. <laughs> Atmosphere's kind of scary, sir. Scary? I would think that books foster a feeling of familiarity. Actually, I once got in a lot of trouble for running through the library at full speed, sir. But this is the library, so a light jog should be fine, right? <laughs> if I don't make sure to stop him, he might actually do it. <laughs> Alright, let's talk to Francisca. Maybe she knows something. Wait, no. Yes, Monty Python reference. Haha. -ha. Yes, what is it? Uh, 
Judging from your exchange just now, I take it you've met Dr. Young before? How astute Miles Edgeworth. That's right, she is an acquaintance of mine. Back said, it's a long story. It seems she doesn't intend to tell me anymore. Shall I leave it at that then? So what happened back then? Please tell me all about it, sir! Yo! Whoops! A foolish fool, shamelessly prying into us of people's business. Watch what you say, Scruffy. How cool! Whipping me out of the blue! With great whip comes great responsibility, sir! One good whip deserves another. The Scruffy fool gets the whip. Try harder than this whip bait. Yeah! <laughs> It appears I was right to leave it at that. Francisco, why are you here when you are supposed to be in work be working with Interpol? Curious, are you? But it's confidential. I have no obligation to tell you. Hmm, her response was as I expected. More importantly, shouldn't there be a prosecutor in charge of this murder case? I don't know who it is, but I was hope I was hoping it wouldn't be someone completely useless. They're not even here yet. They're late. Just what is that fool doing? It's probably the best, because of course. Yar, I have nothing to do with it, sir! I wouldn't think it's very commendable to just whip people at random. I swing, therefore I whip. That is my philosophy. I will whip anyone who slacks off in their work. To the yet unseen prosecutor in charge, I hereby offer you my sympathies in advance. <laughs> uh, well, I guess there's really not much to... much else. Did I examine everything? Oh, I'm missing something. Okay. There doesn't seem to be anything in this pocket. This pocket has holes in it, sir! Judging by how the cloth was pierced... She must have been stabbed by some sharp object. All your coins would fall out of those holes, sir. Detective, haven't you ever heard of a wallet? Of course I have, sir. I just use my pockets, though. Most people do, right? Never mind. Oh, okay, that was it. That was the last clue. I, I just needed to make sure that I got, got a good look at those stabby holes. So the victim's identity remains unknown. Um, should you really be... Should you really still be calling me Kay? Of course! What are you saying, pal? Thank you, but then what about that woman? She is someone who may, you may have killed, so that's all we know. There's no way that's true! Right, Mr. Edgeworth? I also do not believe you killed her. You're such a naive man, Miles Edgeworth. Oh god, oh god, who is this? Who is this? Here I come to save the day! Hmm, bad voice. Oh god. Sound out the apparent anymore for the best for us, the killer is here today! Oh god, there she is. Pardon the interruption. Mr. Edgeworth! Get away from the victim! I've inherited her dying wish! No one asked for you! Hmm. Did you know the victim? Just as I thought. The goddess of law will surely reveal the truth to us. So please, rest in peace. That's right, Justine! Now that I'm here, everything will be okay! The culprit will rue the day he crossed paths with- yeah! Miles Edgeworth, who is this fool of a man? Why is she glaring at me? You are Francisca von Karma, am I correct? I apologize for my late introduction. I am Justine Courtney. Oh, there's- oh, they go on head to head. And the deceased individual is- Attorney Jill Crane, one of the members of the Prosecutorial Investigation Committee. Jill Crane? I see. So that's why she had the key card. I take it you're in charge of this case. 
That's right. And with me in charge, this case is as good as salt. Oh! That reminds me. I haven't caught your name yet. If you just wanted to know my name, you didn't have to win. Yeah! Yes! Oh my god! This is the best! This is the best! Just state your name. I will not tolerate any unnecessary remarks. Sebastian, the best! It seems the pecking order has been decided. Mr. Sebastian, the best? Here, this is from Granny. This is the autopsy report? <laughs> it seems you've been busted, Mr. Edgeworth. This wasn't a competition to begin with. My job is done. May we need to get in front of another corpse. Okay, let's go home quickly and eat some noodles. I'll be leaving too. Take care, everyone. <laughs> okay, bye. The victim's head wound was post-mortem. Sebastian. And the candelabra dealt the fatal blow. Estimated time of death is late last night. What is it, Justine? While I do appreciate your enthusiasm, perhaps you should give your tongue a rest. You might pull a muscle. That would be painful indeed. Okay, cool. So, got some of the autopsy report. Anyways, quite clear now, okay, Faraday must be arrested. What? What's the big idea, pal? It's just as he says, detective. The culprit is Miss Kay Faraday. The young lady in bandages over there, although she's not wearing her usual attire. Are you not Miss Kay Faraday? And what would you do if she is Kay? If you're going to arrest her, then I will resist by any means necessary. That, I guarantee you. Ooh, you're getting tough. I'm now convinced. The doubts surrounding your suitability as a prosecutor were indeed warranted. It's fine, Mr. Edgeworth. You can go. Don't worry about me. I'll be fine. What are you saying, Kay? You can't just go along with them, pal. But I... I don't remember anything. What if I really did kill that woman, and then forgot about it? And if that's true... Acknowledgement is the goddess's mercy. Atonement is her will. The goddess of law will surely praise you for your prudence. Sebastian, and Judge Courtney. If you believe she is the culprit, on what basis do you make your accusations? Unless I'm completely convinced by your explanation, I will not obey your orders. Oh, we getting tough now. Fine, have it your way. Now sit tight and listen to the perfect reasoning of the best. Yeah, I'm sure it's great. I am the best in the world. No one else can do what I do. Yes, that's why I was the first to realize that Kay Faraday is the culprit. She broke into the meeting room in order to steal something. In other words, she's the only one who could have killed Miss Crane. His logic is all felt is off. Oh my god. His logic is. Oh my god. His logic's as awful as ever, sir. Harsh words coming from you, Detective. I asked for some basis to your claims, yet your reasoning has told me absolutely nothing. However, there's no evidence to prove she didn't do it either. Don't worry, Kay. I'm sure Mr. Edgeworth will pull off a miracle. You think my deductions are some kind of miracle work? You'd better not disappoint me, understand, Miles Edgeworth? Because if you do... Psh, this whip of mine won't stay silent. Alright. Hold on. I'm pretty sure a lot of people do what you do. Already, I've noticed two contradictions in your testimony. My reasoning is flawless. It doesn't contain even a single contradiction. Francisco is starting to become your favorite. Oh. She's great. She's fantastic. She's 
You should see her in the mainline games. She's great. Especially when she cries. Which is really sad to say, but just... She's such a sweetheart. Anyway, she's definitely one of those prosecutors that you hate in the beginning and then, like, absolutely grows on you. Hmm. The number of contradictions has just increased to three. Oh, I get it. This is all part of your plan to mislead me, isn't it? Well, Tioba, because the best is, will not be led astray. I don't think you were the first one, but I'm gonna press him anyway. If you believe Kay is the culprit, then I would like to hear the basis for your reasoning. <laughs> Just sit back and be in awe of my brilliant deductions. Nothing escapes the watchful eye of the best. Before I had even laid eyes on the crime scene, no. Before I was even aware of this case. Yes, I knew that she was the culprit. Yo! Basis of your reasoning. Yes, ma'am. Um, well. Um, I don't think that she could have done that because the card. Boom. Objection. Easy. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Got the key card. Can't break into the room. It's locked. It's got security. I mean, I guess that's the whole point. If you break the security, then you Whatever. Just go with it. <laughs> Certainly sounds like you are quite familiar with this room. The best man for the job should know all about the best places. Unfortunately, it seems that you are not the best man for the job. Are you mocking me? That's for you to decide. You didn't even know about this key card, did you? Of course I know about that! You needed to enter this room. <laughs> Give him a minute. <laughs> huh? Was it really needed? This foolish fool simply doesn't know where to give up. Ouch! Sebastian, do you really suspect Kay? That's right! She's the only one who could have done it. Well then, allow me to ask you. Since this room can only be entered by using a key card, how did she enter the room without one? Well, she probably used this and that and so easy to do. They just hand it to you. They just, he's, oh, he's so easy to do like a whiny voice for because of the way they made his lines. Oh, did you pull a muscle? Allow me to explain them. I'm gonna take some water because good God, my throat's already getting tired. <laughs> a lot of voices. I just splashed myself in the eye. <laughs> anyway, the door can only be opened by members of the PIC, which means. Ugh. Yes, that's correct. Hmm? She conceded so easily? Oh, that's a bad sign. Take a look at this. It's a record of the room that I investigated just a while ago. At 12.52 a.m., the door was opened using Miss Crane's keycard. Okay. It's probable that the killer entered the room together with the victim, Miss Crane. After entering, the situation must have soured, leading to the murder. Your logic holds, but it is still but it is still merely conjecture, and it would imply that the killer and the victim were acquainted. No way, pal! Kay doesn't even know the victim. Overruled. Oh, overruled. So good. The first overruled of our stream. That is merely an assumption on your part. Unless you have any evidence to prove your claim. Evidence is everything in court and at the crime scene. Without it, your argument is invalid. In that case, I trust you have the evidence to prove that Kay Faraday and the victim were connected. Of course. What? This letter was discovered by Dr. Young in Miss Crane's breast pocket. The victim's belongings. Why did she withhold such vital evidence until now? Could it be she was waiting for the perfect time to reveal it? Come to think of it. And the candelabra dealt that fatal blow. Estimated time of death is late last night. What is it, Justine? 
Hmm. Well, I do appreciate your enthusiasm. Perhaps we could give your time a rest. You might pull a muscle. <laughs> I'll read it for you. To Miss Crane, thank you so much for helping with my plan. I'm glad that we can help each other get what we want. It's like killing two birds with one stone. Please get revenge for 12 years ago. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> In other words, Kay Faraday and Miss Crane were accomplices. They probably planned to steal something from this room. Preposterous. Wait, that means the main culprit is... It's still Kay Faraday, of course. It just means her crimes have increased by yet one more. It's not looking good. I'm the main culprit? Don't believe her, Kay. It's all a bunch of nonsense. There's no way Kay would do something like that. Nonsense? Not at all. The evidence speaks for itself. Wouldn't you agree? I knew that they wouldn't suspect Kay unless they had some sort of proof, but... To think they would actually have such decisive evidence. Nicely done, Justine. Thank you very much. Hold it! Your explanation is still insufficient. I cannot accept such an argument. Sebastian, would you please leave this to me? Alright, make sure you shut Mr. Edgeworth up once and for all. I can't allow their allegations to gain any more momentum. I must turn it around here. Oh, we going up against Justine. The letter from Kay. The relationship between Kay Faraday and Miss Crane is as documented in the letter. She roped Miss Crane into assisting with her plan. However, for some reason, their partnership broke down. Miss Crane was murdered, and with her dying breath, she managed to retaliate. Her parting gift is this letter, which she tucked safely away in her left breast pocket. But it's impossible to have put it there, because the pocket is torn, right? Is that it? Is that the logic that we're going with? I hope that's the logic we're going with, because that's kind of what I'm thinking. Her testimony is even better than ever. Maybe the most perfect it's ever been, sir. Are you going to be all right, Mr. Edgeworth? Um, yes, of course. How unsightly, Miles Edgeworth. Save your stoic act for some other time. Miss Von Karma! Just whose side are you on? I'm on nobody's side, Scruffy. When searching for the truth, it's best not to take sides. Watch what you say, Miss Von Karma, or else Mr. DeBest is gonna... Best, you say? Well, I can tell you that fi that the side I'm on is always the... <laughs> How irritating. Well, I suppose that's one... Hello. You gonna... Okay, are you gonna sit in my lap? Are you gonna be good? Are you gonna behave yourself? I think my... Okay. Noises. <laughs> well, I suppose that's one thing we can agree on. Come here, cuddle bug. I got a kitty cat in my lap now. She's mine. The letter from Kay. Hold, it. Hold on. I don't know if that's so true. Just what kind of relationship did Kay have with the victim? In the letter, she wrote, Thank you so much for helping me with my plan. Their relationship should be quite obvious, that's right. Golden. I would like to hear about Kay's alleged plan in more detail. Just as she wrote in the letter, she wanted to steal something. What's more, the sender of this letter is Kay Faraday, so it's obvious that the main culprit is. That letter could have easily been forged. It doesn't prove that she planned to steal anything. If memory serves me right, wasn't she a great thief? That's... she's... um... taking a break at the moment. I doubt there is any thief who would inform a prosecutor about their upcoming crimes. Perhaps she simply returned to her trade without you knowing. I suppose I have no means of denying that possibility. Kay Faraday planned the theft and Miss Crane got caught up in it. 
I wonder if that's actually significant. For some reason, you say? It seems your explanation isn't very clear. I'm sure the reason will become clear upon further investigation. But more importantly, there's no evidence to prove that Kay Faraday did not commit this crime. Objection! While there is some evidence to suggest that she committed a crime, none of it can truly be called decisive evidence. What about the letter that shows their complicity and the scene of a crime? I think it's fair to say we cannot decisively rule out the possibility that she committed the crime. Hold it. Do you have any evidence to prove that Kay was the murderer? Haven't you been listening? We've been saying that this letter is the evidence. Oh, and where in the letter does it say that she planned to murder the victim? Huh? Um, well, that... I've got it. It's a hidden message written in invisible ink that can only be read by heating it up. Sebastian, I wouldn't get your hopes up for something like that. There is, of course, evidence that points to her as the criminal. See, I feel like it's the left breast pocket because... Key card record... Mm, hold on. We searched the victim's left breast pocket as well, but... We found nothing, I presume. Naturally, the officer who found the letter immediately brought it to the best man on the scene. Sebastian, it's wise to put down the pipe while on duty, otherwise he starts out. <laughs> that little baton he has is like actually a really, really weird thin bong. <laughs> He's just got like kind of those stoner eyes. <laughs> I believe this letter carries Miss Crane's will for the criminal to be arrested. I have no interest in your beliefs. What I'm interested in is the truth. You said that the letter was in the left breast pocket of the victim, correct? I swear by the goddess of law, there are no lies or mistakes in my statement. The letter was indeed discovered inside the victim's left breast pocket. The victim had been stabbed in the left chest area where their letter was hidden. Yes, that's what I was thinking. This may very well be an important clue. I don't think that Kay wrote the letter. But unless I can draw out more information here, that thought means nothing. I should start by pressing her for more details. Okay, so... Hmm. Here, Kay, I promise that I'll get it back for you, your most precious memory. Thank you so much for helping with my plan. I'm glad that we can help each other get what we want. It's like killing two birds with one stone. Oh, I see now. I see where this is going. <laughs> Hold it. So, Lars, she wrote, thank you for helping. Okay, yes. Welcome to Miss Crane. Thank you so much for helping with my plan. And then... Maybe... Objection. <laughs> Damn it, wrong. That's wrong! Okay. I cannot authorize this statement. I've never played this game despite the fact that I think I would like it. You've never played like this, like the Ace Attorney Investigations games, or you've never played Ace Attorney at all. Cause this is like kind of a spin-off game. <laughs> Next time for sure, okay. 
Let's try that again. Any of the Ace Attorney games. They're definitely some of my favorites, truly. They're really, really good. Highly recommend. But this is like, this is the, this, I'm actually playing this on an emulator because this particular game was actually never officially released uh, in the West. It's um, only, it was only released in Japan. <laughs> So this um, is actually a fan translation. So don't start here is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> if you're gonna start with the Ace Attorney games, the Ace Attorney trilogy is um... Source Hill, you gotta play it too. All of, I, just like AI the Somnium Files. I know I'm screaming about AI the Somnium Files, but everybody should play Ace Attorney. They're, the Ace Attorney trilogy was just re-released on the Switch. If you don't have a Switch, if you have a 3DS, the trilogy is on the 3DS. Um, ooh, okay, here's the thing about Ghost Trick. I haven't played that one, but that one's on my list. Cause, so like, it, it, it's just one of those like, it's just that kind of genre of game where it's like, you, you find the one, but Ghost Trick, I literally have it on my iPad and I was gonna play it after I've finally finished the Ace Attorney series, cause I'm working. We can trade, exactly, we can trade, Zerns. We can trade. I've heard really, really good things about Ghost Trick, and I love the art style. It's so like, it's like so bright and fun. I'll play Ace Attorney, you can play Ghost Trick. I love Ghost Trick. Good! <laughs> I will play Ghost Trick if you play Ace Attorney. Um, I don't think our partnership broke down. For some reason you say, uh... I don't know what statement I'm supposed to be presenting the evidence to. Oh my goodness, Ninda. I swear to God. I'm about to, I'm like, I'm this close to like moving my desk. So that she can't jump from the top of my shelf here. Because she scares the living bejesus out of me. Courtney is fabulous. I hate her, but like I love her. Does that make sense? I love to hate her. She's like gorgeous and she's so extra. <laughs> Interrupt me again. It's hammer time. <laughs> okay, that's not a hammer, it's it's a gavel. But still, I mean, it's kind of the same thing. It's a, yeah, stop hammer time, there we go. <laughs> gavel time. Crane was murdered with her dying breath to manage to retaliate. Okay. She sits, she roped, roped his crane. I don't think she roped her in. I think that's what I just presented though. She is very extra. Um, victim's body was discovered. He has his cause of death, stab wound, head wound was post mortem, burn mark. either. <laughs> I do 
didn't think that was a... Nope, that didn't... I was wrong. I don't think that K wrote the letter. I guess I can draw... I've pressed every statement, I think. Okay, I'm pressing all the statements again. trying things now. Courtney versus Francisca, who wins? I want to say Francisca. Oh my god, I don't... Faraday Miss Gray is documented as as documented in this letter. I do anything. I'm gonna save too. I'm just pick a save state. Save state. Let's do zero. And save state. Uh, nine. <laughs> okay. Here's what I'm thinking. They made it a point to like mention that the left breast pocket was the part that was stabbed through with the candelabra and like that was all bloody and stuff. And they keep like mentioning that like, safely away in her left breast pocket. But if you look, and this is this is like one of those things where it's like once Ace Attorney starts getting harder, you have to look at more than just like what they're saying and also what they're showing. And so if you look at the actual picture of the letter, it's there's no holes in it. It's just, it's bloody, yes, but there's no holes in it, which I feel like is what there is their way of hinting that that's how you would show that it wasn't in her left breast pocket because it wasn't stabbed. Does that make sense? I feel like it's just one of those things that's like kind of a stretch, but like that's how you play Ace Attorney when it gets to the harder levels. Good God, I'm very confused. 
confused. The parting gift was, I've pressed every statement multiple times. Um, what the fuck? What does the ticket stuff say? Am I crazy? Okay, Bella Loja. Okay. Maybe because... You know what? I don't even know. I'm not even gonna pretend to know. Anyway, the victim held on to the truth until her dying breath. A truly touching story indeed. The voices of the dead are soft. One must listen carefully to hear their dying wishes. Oh, cool. So not only is she like... Not only is she like a, a judge and like a prosecutor, she's also apparently... A spirit medium. Homegirl has many a side hustle. And Miss Crane has spoken. Kay Faraday is the culprit. Hmm. Perhaps the voices you have been hearing are actually the whispers of the devil. Ooh. Hey, don't make fun of Justine. Let's listen to the voice of reason. Judge Courtney, please take a look at the autopsy report. There is no need. I remember it perfectly. The victim was stabbed in the left breast. No, it can't be. The letter was found in the victim's less left breast, less breast, left breast pocket. And that's where the victim was stabbed with the candelabra, right, sir? So maybe I was just overthinking it. I was getting ahead of myself. Anyway, precisely. It wouldn't have been possible to stab her there without piercing the letter as well. So that begs the question, why was the letter found in the victim's pocket? It's simple. It was placed there after the victim was murdered to throw suspicion onto Kay. Somebody intentionally wanted to create this very situation. In other words, there exists a possibility that the letter was forged by the true culprit. No! The real murderer tried to pin the crime on Kay. That is the only explanation for the letter. And in doing so, the murderer ended up digging their own grave, right, sir? Objection! The culprit is Kay Faraday. The letter was... Yeah, it was actually found in the victim's other pocket. Huh? What are you saying, pal? The officer's report was wrong when he said the letter was in our left pocket. It's actually in the... Ouch! A foolish fool who continues to make a fool of himself. Is that no cure for your foolishness? Why do you keep whipping me and quit calling me a fool? Yar! I saved you the trouble of punishing him yourself. Indeed. <laughs> Though I had no intention of punishing him. The letter is stained with blood, no doubt because it was found in the left breast pocket. There couldn't have been an error in the officer's report. Unless you were the investigator. I see you have no objections. Then allow me to continue. There is one more potential suspect in this case. Don't be ridiculous! The killer entered this very room! There wasn't anyone else who did that besides Kate Faraday and the victim! To enter the meeting room, one needs a key card. And their reasoning assumes that the murderer and the victim entered the room together. This is what we overlooked. We just discard that assumption, then. This evidence reveals the other suspect behind- besides K. The, the... Jam and Ninja Mask! Uh, um... The Jam and Ninja Mask? I'm gonna save. I'm gonna save! I'm scared! Uh, let's do save state 8. Oh, 7. 7 works. Uh, Take that! Yeah, I don't think that was right. That was probably wrong. <laughs> Overruled. Overruled. Yeah, no, that was terrible. Oops. Was I wrong? Yeah, no shit. Um, if we ass we assumed that they, what if we assumed that they did have a key card? Looks like Kay Faraday is the only suspect after all, huh? No, there is one other suspect aside from Kay. Uh, the victim. 
victim herself. Oh, the, oh my god, I'm so stupid. I'm so dumb, I'm so dumb, I'm so dumb. Where is the schedule? Here it is. Boom. Take that. There was somebody who went in before. This is the key card record Judge Courtney handed me earlier. The victim's key card was used at 12.52 a.m. Sorry, I'm gonna adjust my hair. My hair is like getting in my way, it's bothering me. And there was one more person who also used a key card. So you're saying this person was waiting to ambush the victim inside the meeting room? The key card was used at 10:15 p.m. I would say it's impossible. No, it's impossible. And what makes you say that, pal? You got any proof? Of course I do. I myself am that proof. I was the one who used that key card, after all. Yeah, I figured that that was what was gonna happen. Is there something strange about? A PIC member entering the PIC meeting room. Hmm. That proves nothing. The fact that you were in here at all makes you a suspect. Or do you perhaps have any evidence that you didn't kill your colleague? Overruled. Such nonsense. What would I gain by murdering her? Objection. Allow me to reiterate what you said earlier. I'm sure it will all become clear upon further investigation. Oh, hoo -hoo! got her. Why would I, a faithful servant of the law, commit a crime? Well, a faithful servant of the law. Why would they commit a crime? Hmm. Cogitate on that. True enough. I entered this room. However, that alone is not reason enough to suspect me of a crime. The music is very good. It's, there's so many bangers on, on the Ace Attorney soundtracks. If that's the case, please tell me why you entered this room. I had some business to take care of. Some preparations had to be made. Preparations? That sounds pretty suspicious, pal. You sound pretty sus, pal. Unfortunately, I cannot disclose what these preparations were. However, I'm sure you could hazard a guess. Prosecutor Edgeworth. <laughs> Red is sus. Red is sus! So she was preparing for my hearing. She must have gathered all the necessary materials to take away my prosecutor's badge. Oh god, who is this? Wonderful, wonderful. Who is this? It's good to see young people go head to head so ruthlessly. Wait, we're ready. <laughs> we're wearing red. Who is that? Who is that indeed? Red is sus. Red is hella sus. Red is so fucking sus. Look at this. What the fuck? <laughs> Who are you? Who are you, sir? What the fuck is- who is this? Who is- I don't even know what voice to give him. Uh, oh god. Ugh, what voice should I give him? I don't want to get- mm, that's Detective Bad's voice. Uh... Help me- help me chat! Help me figure out a voice- a voice for him. Should I do like a country? Like a southern- Southern accent, like, I mean, he's kind of like a biker dude, right? Uh, that takes me back. When I was young, I'd always butt heads with this brash detective. And then one day, he just disappeared. I hope he's still doing well. Oh, here comes the waterworks. You're fucking kidding me. You're kidding me. You're, you're kidding me. Chairman DeBest. This is- is this Sebastian's dad? What? I- Did she just say DeBest? Hello, Courtney. 
Sure are full energy today. And if it isn't Lil Von Karma, look how much you've grown since I last saw you. So, it has been quite a while. A curtsy. You don't have to treat me like some sort of stranger, you know. Remember back in the old days when you'd sit on my lap and call me Unky Boo Boo? Oh god, this is... What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? Unky Boo Boo. Unky Boo Boo. <laughs> <laughs> what is this music? What is Why is this so what listen can Why is this so threatening? Here I go again. Oh hell I crap back then. Hot what are you doing here? Hurt? A member of the PIC was killed and I heard that you were in charge of the case. What kind of prosecutor is followed around by his own father? Hold your tongue. Do you have any idea who this man is? Chairman of the PIC, former chief prosecutor. He's the right-hand goddess of law. Now, now, Cordy. I'm just an old chunk of coal. There's no reason to speak so highly of me. Please excuse my subordinate's behavior. I am... Prosecutor Edgeworth, isn't it? Along with his trusty sidekick, Dick Gumshoe. What the fuck? I am blazed the best. I'm the proud father of that idiot over there. Oh god, it's true. I think I need to rinse my eyeballs in a pool of bleach. Not recommended. Not recommended. When that boy was born, me and the missus were happy as can be, you see. But now, I don't even know where she's gone to. Huh? You need a hanger, chief. Oh uh, yes, Sebastian is an idiot. But he's such a good boy, you know. Damn! Damn, he just like straight up is like, God, he's stupid, but I love him. <laughs> Quite the doting father and son. Now then, Courtney, how's the investigation go? Sir, we've established that the culprit is Kay Faraday. We are currently focusing our efforts. There are too many uncertainties in this case. It's impossible to determine that she's the culprit. Surely you haven't forgotten the matter of the letter. Objection! I already told you, it was just a simple mistake. The letter was in another pocket. Ouch! You talk too much. Now, now, let's all play nice. Everyone just calm down. I'm sorry you had to witness such an unsightly scene, Mr. Chairman. Soup. Don't apologize, Cordy. I can follow everyone's logic. Except Sebastian's, that is. Hey, Pops! Chairman DeBest, I'm a prosecutor. My duty is to bring criminals to justice. However, I won't make someone out to be a criminal without sufficient motive and evidence. I heard about you and your relationship with the suspect, you know. <sighs> to share such a strong bond. Kay has assisted the police in arresting criminals countless times, pal. There are too many facets of this case that remain unexplored. Jesus, he's like jacked. Did you see those abs? He's like made of abs. <laughs> I see. The bonds of youth are a wonderful thing indeed. What the fuck? What is happening? What? Excuse me, sir? You can't just set fire in a building like this. But what? But that is that, and this is this, you know. What is that supposed to mean? The prosecutor's office needs to resolve this case as quickly as possible. I mean, just think of all the other cases that are piling up. There's no time to waste here. It's unfortunate, but you understand, right, Edgeworth? What? Now then, Kay Faraday, I'd like to arrest you now. 
Okay. No! I won't let you! Gay is innocent, pal! I need to take a shower watching this character. Yeah, it's like kind of gross that he keeps just like dumping his... Put the lighter away, sir. Yeah, what? Th that was really threatening. That was very threatening. I I don't trust him. He probably killed this this, this poor woman. To defy Chairman DeVest is to... to the to best, not to best. Although we he, no, he's wearing a jacket. He's not even wearing a vest. I'm an idiot. To defy Chairman to vest is to defy the law. It would be a grave act of disloyalty. In other words, a hearing won't be needed. Are you prepared to lose your prosecutor's badge? That's Mr. Edgeworth's badge. You can't do that. Using a prosecutor. Oh gosh, I'm, I'm losing her accent. Using a prosecutor's badge as a shield. What has the PIC come to? Hey, you haven't done anything wrong. Mr. Edgeworth, it was only for a short time, but thank you for everything. I'm sorry I turned out to be a criminal. We will make sure to impart your confession to the goddess of love. No! What should I do? When I was young, I wanted to become a defense attorney, like my father. Someone who can fight to save those in need. And right now, this badge is holding me back. A mere badge? For the life of a dear friend? I don't even have to consider it. Alright. Farewell, Mr. Edgeworth. Hold it! Hold it right there, Judge Courtney. What is it now, Prosecutor Edgeworth? Oh god, what is he gonna do? What's it? <gasps> he did not. Is there a fly in here? I think there is. I had my door open earlier, just and freaking the sweat out of it. Yeah, that's really gross. <laughs> this is your prosecutor's badge. Prosecutor Edgeworth, what is the meaning of this? Consider this my resignation. <gasps> oh, shit! I am no longer a prosecutor. Mr. Edgeworth. What are you doing? Explain yourself, Miles Edgeworth. You... You can't be serious. Mr. Edgeworth, you... You're joking, right? If you aren't a prosecutor, then I... My only mission is to bring the truth to light. If it's the prosecutor's path to turn a blind eye to the truth, then that title is worth nothing to me! My heart is pounding right now. I'm not even kidding. I will walk in the path that I believe in. I will not be stopped here! Yes, edgy boy! You... You're running away from Von Karma? From me? No matter what you say, I don't intend to go back on my decision. So, you're leaving me behind again. I'll never, never forgive you for this. No, this is all my fault. I'm sorry. If only I weren't here. Wait, Kay. Hold it! Wait, hold it! <laughs> Detective Gumshoe, don't follow me. But... Mr. Edgeworth! Boss! I'm not your boss anymore, detective. Oh, that hurt. Hey, stop why- Hey, hey, she's had a hard day. Hard night. Hard- She's had a hard day. Th that's- That's just too much, sir. It's always been you and me. We've always been a team. <laughs> Content! Hey, cool beans. Detective Gumshoe, you no longer need to follow my lead. You- should try to accomplish whatever you can on your end. Ah, ah, this is bad. We just can't let a dangerous criminal escape. How could I let her get away? And after all my hard work, you see? Rest assured, Mr. Chairman, this area will be locked down immediately. Okay, this fly is about to get ninja chopped. It's like circling me it's the best who needs to chill which one actually both both are valid both are valid options bye bye fly no go away
I hate bugs. I hate bugs so much. Sorry. Anyway. Good. I expect the best from you, Courtney. What is... Th He's got like a fucking... Oh no, I'm gonna save right now. Save state one. Save state two. Save state two. Okay. Yes, and I'm gonna save it and the little emulator get oh boy, it's getting it's getting crazy. Oh, this is a whole different day. Oh my god. That's right, he has to go clean out his office because he just resigned. Kay! She's not here either. Where in the world could she have gone? <laughs> I will not end the stream here. Don't worry, don't worry. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep going for a little while. A little, little while longer. <gasps> it's Sweet Baby Ray! Sweet Baby Ray! Knock, knock. I'm here. Mr. Shields! What's going on, Miles? Why the long face? Take it from Uncle Ray. You won't be popular with the ladies looking like that. Why are you here? Did something happen? That's my line. Have you seen the news about the murder at the PIC headquarters? You're hearing? Wasn't it there today? I found myself wondering if you guys had somehow got caught up in it. Wait, it's already made the news? I hear they're searching a teenage girl for... Uh, uh, Searching for a teenage girl suspected of killing an attorney. I can't imagine it could have been her, but it has been bothering me. Could you give me the full rundown? The truth is... Miles, are you trying to give your Uncle Ray a heart attack? I'm not joking. She really did lose her memory. On top of that, she's a suspect. That makes things even more difficult. Where would she have run off to? She lost the memory, right? I was hoping she would return here, but... Not likely. She felt responsible for what happened to you, right? Then, there's no way she would come back here. I know that, but where else can I look? Calm down, Miles. This isn't like you. It's rare to see you get so heated up. Well, not that that's a bad thing. You're trying this hard to save an innocent suspect from false charges? I'm sure you'd make a great defense attorney. Actually, just a while ago, I turned in my badge. But that doesn't mean I've decided to become a defense attorney. Besides, Kay isn't just a mere suspect. I may have only known her for a short time, but we've been through quite a lot together. And I know she isn't capable of murder. I'm surprised. I never thought you would go so far to support someone else. I don't know if you even realize it yourself, but... Seems a deep bond has already begun to grow between you and Kay. I'd say it even gives my bond with your father a run for its money. No, it's, it's not that deep. She just keeps barging into my state of affairs. <laughs> yeah, that girl can be quite a handful. But I'm certain that something has changed inside you since you met her. Daddy Edward! He's becoming the father figure! Oh, whoops, I didn't mean to click that. I'm really jealous, you know. After all, I lost my old partner. That's why you need to find Kay right now. I don't want you to lose your bond like your Uncle Ray did. Well then, I have a proposal. We have no idea where she is, and searching around blindly won't get us anywhere. In that case, why don't we try searching for the cause of her memory loss? Maybe that could give us a lead? I see. That might be a good idea. From what she told me, something must have happened to her at the Grand Tower. Great, that's it. Let's get going then. Hey, at the very least, could you stop looking so grim? If you stay that way, Kay probably won't want to come back at all. <laughs> good grief. I'm no match for this man. Uncle Ray! Sweet baby Ray! Oh wow, it's so pretty. Like a little rose, rose arch and like a fountain and stuff. It seems it's already dark. Still open on the day of a murder. You gotta admire their capitalist spirit. <laughs> but there's no one here. <laughs> Looks like we got a, the place doll to us. Uh, there's actually somebody right over there, sir. You're you're not looking. You're not look. You're not very observant. You're not looking hard enough. To prove Kay's innocence, I'll need to investigate her lost memories. 
I admire capitalism. Hey, hey, let's go, Miles. We can investigate the roof as much as we want, so let's do what we can. That we can. There he goes. Look at him, look at him swagging along. Do what we can, huh? I suppose that's all we can do for now. <laughs> Capitalism, nice. Nice, that's a good one. <laughs> Alrighty. Hello, ladies. I'm gonna talk to you. Miles Edward, so we meet again. What are you two doing here? Well, we came all this way, so I thought we'd buy some cotton candy. And what about you? You want folks to get the wrong idea about you? Do not worry, I will decide my own actions. You're just a no-good ex-prosecutor. It's no wonder you got the axe. Wait, what? You got fired? You need to be concerned with what happens to me. Well, are you sure? Um, oh yeah, what happened to Kay? She's arrested! Huh? Was there some sort of trouble between you two? Anything I can do to help? How about an injection? It's fine. Are injections her answer for everything? All right. It's getting cold, isn't it? Let's go home. Well then, Mr. Miles Edward, let's meet again soon. <clears throat> Bye. Oh my gosh, I feel like I'm gonna hyperventilate when I do her voice. <sighs> I'm out of breath. Okay. What is this? Is this like a TV over here? You, sir! How about some heavenly cotton candy? Heaven's Tear! Heaven's Tear? Did they name them after the shape of the clouds you can see from here? We tear a, we tear a regular piece of cotton candy in half and then sell it without changing the price! That's terrible. That's why the name is Heaven's Tear! We tear the costs in half <laughs> while crying tears of joy. If the customers knew that, they would be crying tears of sorrow. Okay. Interesting. Oh, look, some binoculars. Hello, Midna. Have you come back to say hi again to everyone? If you insert a coin, you can use these binoculars. Write this down, it's a gold mine. <laughs> oh gosh, there's a bug. Go get the bug, Midna. Go get it. <laughs> I'm sure if Kay were feeling better, she'd be happily glued to them. For her sake, I must thoroughly examine every nook and cranny of this viewing platform. Haha. -ha. He said the thing. What a beautiful... What was that? I felt a thump behind me. I'm sure it's fine. If I die... At least it was- <laughs> at least y'all could see me. <laughs> I'm sure I'm fine. It's a statue of a pony sparkling in the twilight. A twilight princess, perhaps? A twilight princess pony? Any bronies out there? <laughs> hmm, the statue has wings. Perhaps it's a pegasus. The flying horse of myth. No, there's a horn on its head. Could it be the legendary unicorn? It's an alicorn, you fucking uncultured swine! But I thought unicorns didn't have wings. It's an alicorn? God, get it right. <laughs> hmm, what's this? There's a plaque at the bottom. The title of this work is written on the plaque. A magical contradiction. I mean, kinda, yeah. I suppose the only part of this work I was able to understand was the contradiction part. Breezy triggered. Hey, I am... Oh my god, <laughs> wait, wait, okay. So, hold on. The Midna, do you mind? You can't be crawling all over the place. So, okay, there was like bronies and then there was Pega sisters. I learned not like not super recently, but like within the last like year or so, that to admit that you were a brony or a pega you were coming out of the stable. Which like it's just <laughs> Anyway, I just had to mention that. Alicorn! It's an alicorn! Horse lore? Sure, give me- drop that horse lore on me. I'm gonna examine this streetlight. 
the person in the red raincoat who pushed Kay off the tower. She said they came towards her from the direction of the stand. From that, we can deduce Kay was pushed over the railing on this side. That's terrifying. The railing is about as high as my chest. It's unlikely that someone could fall from here accidentally. Hmm. I don't see any particular problems with this railing. What about this tree here? It's a cherry tree with branches spread wide. The flowers are nearly in full bloom. According to Kay's testimony, before she was pushed, she was standing under the cherry tree. Oh my gosh! Yes! I've heard of this! Denver's International Airport stands a blue horse with red eyes. The locals have deemed it Blucifer since it looks like a demon horse. It killed its original... Yes, I've heard of that. I was actually listening to a podcast recently um, that... It's called Beach Too Sandy, Water Too Wet. I don't know if y'all are familiar with it, but it's, um, it's a brother and a sister. <laughs> Sounds like Denver. It's a brother and a sister, and what they do is they read, like, reviews, like, shitty reviews online. Um, it's really funny because they just, like, you know, make fun of Karens and whatnot. But um, they recently did, they, like, theme their episodes, and one of the recent episode themes was um, art installations or, like, public, public works of art. Um, and one of, uh, I think... I think the Christine, <clears throat> Christine, the sister, she she did uh, a couple reviews about about Lucifer, and it was it was very interesting to hear. But yeah, also it sounds really like in, like terrifying. Like you you see that, and then you're about to like get on a plane. It feels like an omen, like an actual omen. <laughs> I want to see it though. Like I I really do want to see it. <laughs> Examine the gazebo? No. Uh, what? What the fuck? Ah! Oh, she fell under the tree! Ow. Okay. Um. Uh, don't mind me. I was just admiring the view beneath the tree. Did you just fall out of that tree? I didn't mean to fall. My foot slipped. I believe his son was the person who completed the sculpture. I almost wonder if is he <laughs> did, did the original sculpture sculpt sorry not sculpture sculptor did the original sculptor even want it finished? I mean it did murder him. <laughs> You're a suspect and yet you remained at the crime scene. That's not a smart thing to do. Even if you have memory loss, shouldn't you have realized this much? This whole time while you were playing this silly game of hide and seek, I've been worried sick about you. Are you angry with me? Of course I am. Answer me, what were you doing here? Did you think I'd let you off the hook that easily just because you have memory loss? That's not it. I came here because I thought I could get your badge back. What? If I don't regain my memories, you'll never get it back. I thought if I went back to where I lost my memories, then maybe I would remember. If I could just remember killing her. <laughs> You're still the same as you were before you lost your memories. Your thoughts and actions have always exceeded my expectations. Without a doubt, you are the Kay Faraday I know so well. However, I cannot approve of your recklessness. I understand. Cut! You get zero style points, Miles. Or more like negative points. Here's how it's done. Okay, how about a hug? Uh, okay. Oh, well then. Mr. Shields! It was just a joke, honest. You fucking creep. She's 16. Well, 17. Is she 17? I think she's 17. She's 17, you weirdo. You're gonna die doing something, wouldn't you? Yeah, that's true. That's true. Just finish the damn thing. <laughs> Wait, hold on. I don't recognize that. Jill Crane. She looks, oh my God. She looks like Mia Faye and it's, 
You're gonna get a shadow band. It's so, just look at her. She looks like Mia Faye. It's driving me crazy. Wow, okay, wait, hold on. Oh, gonna be the death of me. Yikes. So there's Mia Faye, Lana Sky, and Jill Crane. Mia Faye was the defense attorney. Lana Sky was the prosecutor. And Jill Crane was in like the judgy PIC, but like it, it's the whole thing is like they're judges. They judge prosecutors, but wow, that's, I see what they did there. We interrupt this program with breaking news about the Grand Tower murder case. The police believe the culprit is a teenage girl who was present at the crime scene. She remains at large as the police continue to search for her whereabouts. Oh dear, this is getting pretty serious. Well gang, what's the plan? We don't have much time. Indeed, it's only a matter of time before they find us here. So then, why don't you tag along with us for a while, okay? But I'll just cause trouble for you again. It pains me to say this, but I've got nothing left to lose at this point. <laughs> I can only go down! <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth! That settles it. We're all in this together now. Miles, you're in charge of proving Kay's innocence. Failure is not an option. Yes, I understand. Kay, I want you to help Miles with this investigation as much as you can. Damn these feels, man. Yes, I'll do my best. Let's be quick about it, before the cops find us here. Unlike some people, Uncle Ray still has a lot to lose. Savage. Sheesh, if I lose the law office, I'll never be able to face Gregory. This man, I'm glad he's on our side. All right, I think before I get too far into another investigation, now is a good time to save it and, and keep it ready and waiting for next time. So I'm gonna just, I'm just gonna make all the safe states. It's fine. Uh, just this one. Cool. So I have a bunch of save states now, um, and I'm gonna quit it on out. But <laughs> oops, all save states. <laughs> Um, but anyway, thank you guys so much for joining me on my Ace Attorney Investigations journey. I feel like we got a lot done. Um, lots of fun voices, and uh, it was a good time. It was a good time. Um, I will be streaming again on Friday. I'll be playing some Steins Gate! Some more Steins Gate. Uh, I'll let y'all... I put a little poll on Twitter, and you guys were like, gotta have Steins Gate. Cause I, I think it was just one person who voted, but whatever. One person is enough for me. They said, I gotta have Steins Gate. And so we gonna get some. Yeah, little dino. Love it. We're gonna get some more of that on Friday at 7 p.m. EST, the huge. Um, if you haven't followed me already on here, go ahead and drop me a follow. You'll get notified every time I go live. Um, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, YouTube, all the things. Woo! Um, we also have a Discord. If you type, uh, I'll just, you know what, I'll just do it. Um, Discord. Trying to get the party going in there. Uh, if you're not already part of it, feel free to join. Don't feel obligated. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys so much. Um, let's see who's. Is there anybody? Is there anybody I could raid? Give some love to. Um. Oh, let's do. Let's do falafel cosplays. They are playing Thousand Year Door Mario. All right, I will see you guys next time. We're going right over there. Um, I'll stick around for a little bit, but uh, I got to go play D&D &D in a while. So see you guys next time.